to you know get the uh, the uh, scoring and so forth done since I was not in on that part of it the last time around. Um, I could certainly get you know uh, the documentation to everyone, um, but this will have to turn around really fast. I know that it's going to require a lot of commitment from all of you, and um, I know that I appreciate it, and I'm sure that the businesses do as well. Are there any other uh, items that you would like to address in terms of uh, either procedures for for uh, the ranking of the businesses or scoring of the businesses or uh, the rubric itself? Any other concerns about the process? What's the time frame for curbside to get the income verification done? Yeah, the income verification and applications can go to them as soon as a, a deadline is um, complete, and they will review those kind of independently from um, from your review and scoring of the applications. So they'll simply indicate um, which businesses are eligible for OCRA reimbursement, um, and that will be their only role in this. So far. All of the applications that are um, eligible for reimbursement, uh, obviously not-for-profits are not are not uh, in that mix, so we'll receive some that did not submit income verification forms. But any of the businesses that have submitted income verification forms, or which could have, will go to um, Curbsy for review. And that will happen as soon as the deadline is is uh, done. So they expect that to take them um, within next week, and uh, then we, you know, we'll have basically their information coming back at around the same timeline as as your um, scoring of the businesses. So um, I think our goal was to get all of this done in time for us to be able to issue checks very early in February. So I think you've, you've uh, probably addressed what you wanted. Is that the case? Are we done with the uh, work session? I'd like to ask a related question. Uh, OCRA does have a phase three uh, grant available, uh, which could provide funding in say close to the mid year or early second half of the year if we wanted to go with an additional small business resilience grant, like say a round three. Um, we would have to have uh, a letter of intent to apply in by the 19th of January. Um, and um, yeah, I guess um, is, is there an interest in that? I tell you why, might as well just go ahead and do that letter of intent. And obviously, if we decide to submit an application, the council would need to vote on that. But not the letter of intent, if um, without uh, objection, um, I would be happy to submit that. Is there any um, match or obligation of city funds? I believe the only obligation of funds is for the um, grant administration, and that's a very small fee. But I can confirm that and send that out in an email. Again, so, the, letter of intent, the letter of intent if sent would not um, obligate us to apply. Okay. So, 
I don't have anything else. Okay, so without ob objection, then I'll submit the letter of intent. And um, I believe if there's nothing else on the, the work session, then we're ready to move next to council comments and requests starting with uh, President Pro Tem Kingery. There we go. Sorry, I had to unmute myself again. Um, so I'm just looking forward to this year. Hopefully we all can continue to work well together. Um, really still want to make sure we are working well with both the clerk, the mayor, you know, amongst each, each other and try to limit the bickering back and forth. Um, I really don't want to go down that path because that's not a good path to go down. Um, Obviously, the clerk is understaffed, and hopefully she can get someone else in that office with her to help her to alleviate some of her workload. Um, I definitely understand the whole public information request and getting all the data for that. That is, you know, perfectly fine, and, you know, that's, that's the right to have. But at the same time, I want to make sure that, you know, we're not overbearing our one person that we have right now, and then hopefully, you know, a second person in there will be able to get requests um, in a more timely manner and get the get the data that we need. So I'm really looking forward to this year and hopefully um, COVID doesn't mess it up any further. Sandy, do you have any comments or requests? Me? Yes. Um. The only comments I have is I want to uh, congratulate Spencer and you know, have all the good luck and best wishes in this year for him. And I do look forward to a very prosperous 2021 for Delphi and all of its citizens. Thank you. Mike Isley, you got any comments or requests? Well, like the other two have said, last year went pretty well for us. I thought we worked well together. Um, we disagreed. We got along. We passed a lot of stuff. We helped the city. And I'm looking forward to another year working with you guys. So thank you all for your time you're putting in, too, all of you. I'm kind of going by the order you are on my screen here <laughs> visually, Gail Connor. Um, a while back, you mentioned something about a liquor license request. I just wanted to know if you had any update on that. We had um, so far issued two licenses. There was one issued uh, for a, uh, a, a business at uh, 111 South, um, South Washington Street. And um, that business has did not get up and running prior to COVID and it's not clear that they will uh, take advantage of that license at this point. Uh, the second is a business that is um, supposed to open or set to open in March of this year, coffee bar slash wine bar on the north side of the square. Those are the only two applications that um, the city of Delphi has received. And I just wanted to ask your thoughts on what the commissioners passed today for the county regarding masks and citizens' rights to not have to wear masks. Are you aware of what they passed today? I have not heard. I've been busy with other items today. I'll give you time to look at that then and we'll discuss it later. Cody? I just, I, you know, I'm glad uh, we're all here. It's 2021. It's a different year and we're moving on and we're just going to keep doing what we can for Delphi and we'll try this new year out. Thank you. Um, Clerk Treasurer Aldrich, did you have any additional comments? No, I don't. Any public comment? And I'm uh, not seeing the chat, so. <coughs> Mr. 
Is there anything in the chat that anyone sees? I don't see anything right I now. I see nothing. Okay. No public comment, then there's just one last motion to be made. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. Was it Spencer with the motion? Yep. And the second was Cody or? Yeah. Thank you. And so without objection, we are adjourned at 6.55 p.m. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening.